And over the past couple of weeks, I've been sharing videos, tutorials that can help content creators edit a little bit better in Premiere Pro. And today I'm gonna to share a few more tips and tricks, but they're just dealing with the Alt key if you're a Windows user. And so if you're interested, stick around because I'm sure you're gonna enjoy these Alt alternatives. Get it? Yeah, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay that either. This is how we do. What's up everybody, it's Shane here at Waiting To Be Seen and I wanna welcome you to today's video and I also wanna welcome you if you're new to the channel. I am very, very much about creating content that is helpful for other content creators. It really is a passion for me and people have shared lots of knowledge to get me where I am today and so I'm really interested in just being able to share that, to pay that forward. Premiere Pro has a lot of shortcuts is probably the more accurate phrase and those shortcuts can help us speed up our workflow or at least be a little bit smarter with our workflow. And so today I'm gonna to be sharing four, maybe five ways in which the Alt key is a really, really great shortcut for us as Premiere Pro users. It'll help to speed up our workflow if not improve the workflow. So let's dive right on in. Tip number one is all about isolating your asset in the timeline. When we drag our assets into our sequence, it's going to be video and audio, and those are linked by default. And you can actually tell that when you have a look at the footage, you can see that there's these little square parentheses around the V, and it means that that footage and that audio is linked together. And so if you wanna edit the audio or the video separately, what we can do is we can right click on it and unlink, and then we can make our edits. As I showed last week, we can actually click on the link selection button and adjust things that way. But a much faster way is to simply use the Alt key. And it's really easy. Just press and hold the Alt key and then click and drag either the video or the audio playheads to the position that you need to. And when you release, the footage and the audio is going to remain linked, but you've been able to independently isolate the playheads for either of those options, which is really, really amazing. Alt tip number two is all about duplication. To duplicate an asset in our timeline, all we need to do is simply hold the Alt key and then you grab your clip with the selection tool and you move it. As soon as you begin to drag the clip, it duplicates, which I think is pretty amazing. Now, one of the really fun things you can do is pair the duplication with the isolation tip. So if you press and hold the Alt button when you click on the video, for example, and then you drag the video, you will duplicate just the video and not the audio. Tip number three I already talked about last week, actually, and that is using the Alt key to move your asset to the next track. So when we press and hold the Alt key, you can just press the up button and it will take your video from track one or whatever video track you're on and it will move it to the next video track. Just remember though, that if you're using a linked asset, that asset will only go to track number one. So for example, you've got a video track right here and it's linked to the audio track below. If I press Alt and up, video track is gone to track number two, but the audio is remaining in track number one. Now, if I invert that, if I press Alt and then press down, you'll see the video track has come down to track one, but the audio track has come down to track two. Now, if I do that again, Alt and down, that audio track has now come down to track three, while the video track has remained stationary. And it's because the video track is as far as it can go on track one. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to push too far with this one. Tip number four is a great time saver. Let's say you split your footage here by going Control Shift and K and you wanna delete that footage. If you just press the backspace, it just clears that footage out of the way. The more advanced users know that if you right click on that footage, you can go to the top and say Ripple Delete and it then removes that footage and pulls all of the footage that came after it into that empty space so that you don't have any gaps in your sequence. Well, this tip is doing the exact same thing, but you don't have to right click. All you need to do is select the footage, hold down Alt and then press backspace and you're done.
And our fifth and final tip for today's video is about using the Alt key to help you replace footage in your sequence. Let's say you've got three video files and you just want to replace the middle one with a different file, but you don't necessarily want to mess around with the playhead positions of that piece. You simply need to hold the Alt key and then drag a clip from either the project panel or the source monitor and then drop it on top of the clip that you've got highlighted in the timeline and it will replace just that clip. And with that being said, I am all done for today's video as well. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I hope that these five alternatives no, sorry, I'm, I'm not gonna try and foist it on you. <laughs> I hope that these five tips about using the Alt function, the Alt shortcut in Premiere Pro have been useful for you. And if they have, then leave me a comment down below to say which one you're going to use the most. Give me a thumbs up to let me know that you've enjoyed the video as well. And if you think that content such as this, as well as all of the other content that I have here on my channel, waiting to be seen, might be of interest to you now and into the future, then please consider subscribing to me today. You guys know the drill. You just have to click on that big red subscribe button down below, click on the notification bell right alongside that and YouTube, they're gonna do the rest. They will let you know as soon as my latest content drops and I'd love to have you on board for the journey. And on that note, I'm all done for today. I hope Friday has been a good one for you. I hope that the weekend is looking like it's gonna be pretty amazing and the week to come is going to be off the hook. And this has been Shane for Waiting to Be Seen. Love you guys and I will see you around next time. Bye. That's gonna leave a mark. What?